And then he painted some happy trees and... Mom, huh? Betty says it's time for a walk right now. He does? Hmm. I'm afraid I'm a little busy right now. What about me? I can go. <laughs> oh, me huh? too. I can take him out. All by yourselves, huh? Yeah! Hmm. Peter, let me hold the leash I want to hmm. try. Lucy, listen. Walking him isn't as easy as it looks. Hmm. Hey, Peter! Huh? Come play <laughs> soccer with us! <laughs> soccer? Uh... Here, I guess now you can walk him. Really? But this is only for today. Also, seriously, don't leave the park, cool? Okay, no problem. Count me in, Johnny! <laughs> Let's go, buddy! <laughs> so he doesn't get away. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, wow. Cool dog. <laughs> Can you tell me his name? Can I give him a hug? Uh, his name's Percy, but he's a little nervous around strangers. Oh, okay. Well, then can I tell him I'm not a stranger? Um, what if you said hello from further away? Hello, I'm Lucy. That was good. Just pretend like you're not interested and see if he comes up on his own. Okay, I won't look. <laughs> Looks like he likes you after all. Oh, he does? <laughs> <laughs> Hands up! <gasps> look out! <gasps> Why'd you have to kick it so far? You were supposed to block it! Huh? Oh! Awesome dog! Looks like some kind of police dog. Peter, he's called Percy. Hello. Whoa, his fur is super cool. He's got a long tail. I want to ride him like a horse. <laughs> hey, kids, don't run up to him like that. Huh? Hmm? How come? <laughs> oh, no. Huh? Why is he mad? <laughs> you haven't met before, never run up and pet them without asking first. But there is a right way to introduce yourself. When you meet a new dog, never run straight up and pet or hug them. You don't know their personality. They might get scared and bite. If you feel threatened by a strange dog, don't throw anything. And definitely don't run away. The best thing to do is slowly back away. Stay calm. If you can, block them with something and ask passers-by for help. Uh -huh. When you're out with your own pooch, always make sure to keep them on a leash and be careful not to drop it. Okay, think you can remember that? Hmm. We'll remember, Amber. Come on, let me walk him already. Huh. Peter, mm -hmm. don't you know walking mm -hmm. him's not as easy as mm -hmm. it looks? Oh. Come on, buddy. Huh? <laughs> oh, Lucy, give me another <laughs> chance, please!
Minnie's present. Jin, is this going to take a long time? This is extremely detailed work and something that can't be rushed. Hello. Huh? Holy! What's that you're working on? Ellie needed some new goggles. I'm installing a new infrared function. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. I'm going to town to patrol. Show me when they're finished, okay? Okay, Polly. Grandpa, what do you want for your birthday? No, uh, oh, I don't need any presents, sweetheart. Sure you do. Everyone needs presents for their birthday. How about flowers? <laughs> flowers would be fine. And a nice balloon. Hmm, balloons are good. Oh, you're just saying everything sounds good. <laughs> yes. No! Uh, mm. Are you all right? I'm okay, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. Just be careful. I will. Uh. I have to go see Mr. Wheeler. I'll see you at home afterwards. Bye. <laughs> Look out! No! Not again! <laughs> be careful. Oh. Hi, Minnie. Huh? Hi, Polly. How are you? Minnie, you look sad about something. Uh, actually, I am. I'm sad about two things. Two different things? Yes. The first one is I don't know what to get Grandpa for a present, and his birthday is tomorrow. And the other thing is that he can't see that well anymore. Mm. Well, I guess that explains why you look so sad. Yup. Hmm. Ah, here's an idea. You could get him a pair of reading glasses. But I've never heard of them. What do they do? They make things look bigger than they really are. If you could do that, then it would take care of both of the things that are upsetting you. I guess, but I'm not even sure where to get reading glasses. Leave it to me. I'm sure we can help you figure that out. All right. So you'd like me to make some reading glasses for Mr. Musty's birthday present? Right. But his birthday is tomorrow. No problem. Ellie will have to wait for his goggles. That's okay, right? No. Huh? It's for Mr. Musty's present, so I don't mind. Uh, uh, are you sure? Uh, Thank you so much. Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay if I help you make Grandpa's present, Jen? Oh, so you really want to get involved in making the present, too? I think. <laughs> All right, Minnie. Then let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Minnie, help me move this over there. No, wait. Over here is better. Yes, ma'am. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Bye, Grandpa. Minnie? Where are you off to so early? It's a secret. Be back before dark. Huh, rascal. Do 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 do. Huh? It's Minnie. Minnie, what's up? I'm meeting Jen. Oh yeah. Don't forget my grandpa's birthday party tonight. Don't be late. See you later. Why is she in such a hurry? Jin! We came to watch. Shh! Jin and I are working very diligently. Hush. Oh. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> All done. So, what do you think of them? Wow! wow. They, they look, look amazing! amazing. <laughs> you did a great job! <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> this was a great idea. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a new pair of glasses.
am I gonna do now? Oh. <laughs> Help me! Is anybody out there? Hmm. I wonder why Minnie isn't here. She, she will, will be soon. soon. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> here she is now, Minnie! Huh? Huh? Happy birthday, Gramps! Oh, thank you, Rhody. Say, were you hanging out with Minnie at all during the day? No, sir. Minnie was going to the rescue station today. Oh, she was? I bet Mr. Musty has opened up his new glasses by now. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was really happy with them, Jen. <laughs> Good work. Well, thank you. Luckily, Helly wasn't in a big hurry for his goggles. Oh, <laughs> I'll get to those tomorrow for sure, Helly. Huh? Huh? Oh, Mr. Musty! Happy birthday to you! Oh, thanks, Jin. Tell me, is Minnie there by any chance? She left here a few hours ago. Really? Well, then she should have been home by now. So you're saying oh. Minnie hasn't come home yet? I know. What if something horrible's happened to my granddaughter? Don't worry, Mr. Musty. We'll go search for Minnie. <laughs> Let's split up and look for her. All, All right. right. Huh? Oh dear. Minnie! Minnie! Minnie? Minnie? She wasn't near the pond! And she wasn't anywhere in the village, either! Okay, then we'll just have to broaden our search. Hey, guys! I found her! Huh? We're at the 16th Street Hill! All right! Speed up! Right! right. Mm. Hmm. Are you all right? Get me out! <gasps> Somehow she got stuck between the rocks. She won't budge. Roy, we have some rocks to move. Right. <laughs> Ready? Ready. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three! <laughs> wow, you did it! <laughs> Thank you so much! <laughs> On it. <laughs> wow, it feels so much better. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> We're just glad it all worked out. <laughs> oh my gosh, the present! <gasps> oh no, they're broken. Grandpa's special present. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. oh, it's her. I'm back, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy that you're home safe now. But something bad happened. Your birthday present got broken. Oh. You should know. Minnie and Jin worked hard on it. Oh. I wanted to give you the glasses for your birthday so you could see better. 
Minnie, do you know what the best present in the whole world for me is? What is it? You, my dear. I'm just happy you came home safely tonight. You are? Yes, of course. What would I do without that sweet smile? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Our, Our pleasure. pleasure. All right. Now that Minnie's back, it's time for the party. Yay! It's party time! <laughs> Did you guys bring a present for my grandpa's birthday? Uh, no. We just, just came, came for, for the cake. cake. What? How could you not bring a present? Ah. Oh, look out! out. Oh. She's right behind you! Get out of here, you two! <laughs> Trust your friends. Abracadabra stick! Ta-da! Huh? It's amazing, right? It was in the station when it got hit by lightning, and now it's magnetized. That's really marvelous. You woke us up at dawn just to show us a magic trick? Not magic. It turned into a magnet. Okay, but how? Mm, well, it's a little bit hard to explain. Are you sure that you know? Of course I know. I just can't explain it right now. Huh? Rescue team, this is Jin. Jin! Uh, somebody robbed my store! Robbed your store? What? what? A, a robbery? robbery? Somebody has stolen my tires. What? Just look at the mess he made around my shop. It's absolutely outrageous. Calm down, Mr. Wheeler. Could you tell me exactly what happened when you came in this morning? Well, let's see. I arrived at the store just before dawn. I noticed someone moving in the darkness. I was a bit scared, but I approached anyway. Then the scoundrel ran away. Were you able to get a look at the culprit's face? That I'm not too sure of. And have you noticed anything or anybody strange in the past few days? Well, wait a minute. Cleany! Cleany? Hmm. I was doing my daily inventory, as usual. 19, 20, 21, 20. When suddenly, I got the feeling that I was being watched. I turned around, and there was Cleany. Huh? Hmm, what is he doing out there? Uh, I'd better come back later. That's all? What do you mean? Don't you think that's strange? Not at all. Huh? Maybe he wanted to buy a tire. If he wanted to buy a tire, he should have said something instead of staring at me like that. I tell you, it was very strange. Queenie has huh? a hard time talking to people sometimes because mm -hmm. he's shy. That could be an act. What if he's pretending to be shy when in reality he's a master criminal? I don't think so, but I better speak with Queenie anyway. Mr. Wheeler thinks I'm a suspect? I'm innocent! I just thought his store was dirty and wanted to clean it. But I was too embarrassed to say something about it, so when he saw me, I just drove away. You don't really think that I stole anything, do you? I don't, Cleanie. All I needed was for you to tell me what happened yesterday. Hmm. Uh, good. Uh, uh Cleanie? Uh, oh yeah, I remember something. Yesterday, when I drove away from Mr. Wheeler's store, somebody else was there. Who was uh, it? It was Posty! <laughs> Posty, why are you so surprised? It's nothing, just never mind. Oh. And then he just drove away. So, don't you think that's weird? Hmm, interesting. I guess I better go ask Posty some questions. What? You think I stole a tire? Just calm down. Well, if you must know, I was delivering a surprise gift to the shop for Mrs. Green. You said a surprise gift? <laughs> Posty. Uh, sorry, yes, a surprise gift. Don't tell anybody about it because it's a surprise. You see, I was only doing my job. Hmm, I understand. Know what? I can't believe that Cleanie would think that I stole a tire. Oh, oh, oh my! See there? The thief isn't me! Hmm, but even so, couldn't he have stolen the tire 
years after he finished delivering the surprise? No way! Cleany, why are you trying to give me the blame? Is it because you stole the tire? No, it wasn't me. I'm innocent. Well, it seems to me that Cleany is the criminal. No, I'm not. I swear it. <sighs> huh? Stop it, everybody. Huh? It looks to me like the criminal isn't Cleany or Posty. Huh? What? Take a look at this. See how these tire tracks are stained with oil? Whoever the culprit is, he must work with oil. Work with, with oil? oil? Well, then, yes, it must be Mr. Musty. What makes you say that? A few days ago, Mr. Musty was in my store shopping for a mini tire. Also, he's an old car, so he runs on oil. <laughs> but the marks here clearly weren't made by the kind of tires that Mr. Musty has. It's Cap. Cap? I heard Cap change tires a few days ago. <laughs> Posty, Cap isn't an oil car. Uh, but what about Spooky? My goodness, you all are accusing your friends without any evidence. But it seems like when you think about it, they're, they're all, all suspicious. suspicious. Hmm. <sighs> you just need to let me investigate. Well, what does it say, Jin? Hmm, these tire tracks just aren't enough to go on. There are over a hundred cars in Broomstown that use this kind of tire, you know. Hmm, this is getting complicated. Oh, I just can't believe it. A thief in Broomstown. Listen, there's something worse going on than the robbery itself. What is it? Everybody is so suspicious of one another. Mr. Wheeler suspects everybody who's been to his store. Posty and Cleany suspect each other. <laughs> and people are starting to say that Mr. Wheeler is suspicious. This old man says I stole his tires. I say he made it up to commit insurance fraud. No way! It's like the people of Broomstown don't trust each other anymore. Well, couldn't Mr. Wheeler have gotten his tire count wrong? Or maybe he sold the tires and forgot. No, Roy. I double-checked his inventory myself. Uh now what? Then who could be the crook? Well, couldn't the answer be in the pictures I took? I took a lot of them. You certainly did. <laughs> Helly, did you only take pictures and not investigate? What? I was gathering all the important evidence. Right, Polly? Yes, yes. Sort of. Huh? What's that? Thanks, Helly. I don't know. Hmm. hmm. Oh. This means that it was spooky. Magic wand. Where are you? Magic wand? Where's my magic wand? Catch the thief! Catch the thief! Huh? 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 Spooky? Huh? Oh my gosh! Spooky? You're stealing my tires? Let's get Spooky! No, I didn't do anything. Really, I'm not a thief. Everybody calm down. Huh? Now tell me what's going on here. I'll tell you. We're catching the thief. I was tired of being called a robber. Me too. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have found this clue earlier. Ah, it's my magic wand. Spooky, please tell me what's been going on. Stay back, Polly. Huh? Uh, before you get stuck to me, too. What? What are you talking about? I don't understand it. All I did was get struck by lightning. Then suddenly, I was like this. Lightning? When it got hit by lightning, and now it's magnetized. Ah, now I understand what's going on. Mr. Wheeler, the thief isn't spooky, it's lightning. What? what? Do you remember the thunderstorm we had last night? 
Spooky was struck by lightning last night and became a magnet. The tires stuck to him while he was passing the store. He didn't on? know he'd been get magnetized. Up, Spooky tried to get the tires off himself when Mr. Wheeler got to the store and spotted him. Stop! Thief! Mr. Wheeler's shouts startled poor confused Spooky, and he drove away. And that's the solution to the mystery. Isn't it, Spooky? Is that the truth? Yes. I wanted to return the tires, but everyone in town was on a crazy robber hunt. Oh, poor Spooky. Uh, hmm. By being so suspicious of everybody, I hurt so many of my friends. Me too. Sorry. Sorry. So we've learned that suspecting friends without evidence is not good. Well, the misunderstanding is all cleared up. Give me back my tires. I'd love to, but they're stuck to me and they aren't coming off. Oh, he's right. What are we going to do, Polly? Don't worry, everyone. We can solve the problem at the rescue center. Is this really going to work, Jin? Of course. When this machine absorbs the electricity from the lightning, your problem will be solved. Don't worry, Spooky. Trust me. Here we go. Huh? Ooh, they were getting so heavy. Wow. Hey, Jin, it's just like you said. Told ya. <laughs> Good for you, Spooky. Welcome back from Magnet World. Welcome back. Thanks a lot. The next time there's a thunderstorm, this car is staying inside. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there's no thief in Broomstown. I knew it all along. <laughs> the Mystery of the Corner. <laughs> you can't catch me! Slow down! Hey, boys, be careful there. You need to be paying attention to the street. Don't worry, Scooby. Catch me, Doug! <laughs> I'll get ya! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Hello, Cleanie. Huh? Why are you in such a hurry? Holy, I'm late to clean up Orange Street. All right, be careful, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <sighs> you okay, Whooper? <laughs> I'm okay, Polly. You should remember to be extra careful <sighs> when turning the corner. I will. I have to be going now. Hmm. Huh? Knocked over again? Who keeps doing this? What a pain. Huh. Hello, Cleanie. Huh? Hello, Squilby. Whoa, what happened here? Oh, somebody keeps knocking down this trash can and making messes. A what? Trash can? Uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is the third time today. Oh. Goodness, I wonder who could be doing this. <laughs> oh. Hey, could you please move? Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, good luck, Cleanie. Goodbye. There we go. <sighs> no! Oh, not again! <sighs> this has to stop. Rescue team, this is Jen. Oh no, Cleanie. What? The trash can? Yes! It's happened four times so far. Don't worry, Cleanie. We'll check it out right away. What's going on, Jin? Oh, well, Cleanie just called in to report that somebody keeps knocking down one of the trash cans on Orange Street. Knocking down trash cans? That's not very nice. Hmm. But who would do such huh? a thing? We should go check out the scene. Roy, let's go. Okay, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey there, boys. Um, wait up. <laughs> boys, listen. Could you do me a big favor and behave yourselves today? And please, can you be extra careful when playing around trash cans? Understand? Yeah, yeah whatever. whatever. <sighs> well, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. You're it. <laughs> 
Hey! <laughs> no, you don't! Huh? Huh? Look there. What's this, Polly? Of course. Roy, I think I know who's knocking the trash cans down. That's great, Polly. Huh? huh? Kevin and Doug. Oh! No, Wooper! Uh. Look out! Here we go. I'm so sorry. Wooper, I'm glad you're sorry, but have you forgotten that when a big vehicle like you turns the corner, the rear wheels rotate inward? What? What do you mean, inward? Kevin, Doug, I think you should know this too. Sure! sure. When cars go around the corner, the rear wheels always rotate farther inwards than the front wheels. The bigger the car is, the more inward the rear wheels need to turn. This is why it is very dangerous to play around at intersections. Oh, okay. And at smaller intersections, it's even harder to avoid cars, so you need to be extra careful. Also, when you ride bicycles, you should avoid turning the corners with other cars. And you should keep a good distance from trucks since your clothes or bags can actually get snagged. So always stay back. Got it? Yeah, we got it, Polly. I understand. I promise I'll be careful from now on, Polly. You know, that means that this isn't a good place for this trash can. That's right. Uh, 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 it was you boys doing this? Cleany, Cleany, uh, it's not how it looks. You are very bad boys. Very bad. Uh, no, it wasn't us. Yeah, uh, we're innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Never move a fire extinguisher. What? For real? For real, I really can't dance. Oh, I feel so bad we'll lose the dance contest because of me. So now what? I had no idea you couldn't dance. Don't feel bad about it. I'm happy to help. Come on, Johnny. I'm sure Cindy would rather be taught by the town's most legendary dance machine ever. What? <gasps> if you're the dance machine, then I'm the king of dance. Are you challenging me? Bring it on! And not bad, Johnny. Huh. I know. You're not bad either. Hey, check this move out. Watch this! <laughs> You know, I couldn't dance either, but then these two totally helped me get better at it. They did? Mm -hmm. So we might not come in last place? Last oh, place? No way. We're coming in first. <laughs> in first place? Uh. 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 Yes! <laughs> awesome job! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Let's put one here, too. It's important to have enough fire extinguishers and to know where they are in case you need them. All right. Thanks for taking care of it, Roy. Of course. I'm sure it'll be an exciting contest. The kids have been working so hard. You should come. Oh, I'd love to. Ugh, I can hardly see where I'm going. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> this is definitely not a good place for this. <laughs> wants to go. Listen, I got us a secret weapon. Check it out. Secret weapon? <laughs> Whoa, oh. What is that? And, and now, now we, have we have our next team. team. Please, Please welcome, welcome Cindy, Cindy and the, the Broomstown Boys. No way! <laughs> How humiliating! Come on, Cindy. With these on, we gotta win. Hey, you'll be fine. Leave it to us. <laughs> that is so not comforting. What's happening? Get ready. Uh, I can't see a thing. Uh, uh, 
scary things can happen. And where uh, and when uh, they do, this Roy is will awful. be there for you. When we need him, he's always around. Uh, to uh, keep uh, the uh, safe and sound. Uh, when the flames and danger near. Now do you here, trust us? I know Are you that ready, Cindy? No need to fear. Roy <laughs> yes, will appear. Yes, let's do this. We are learning fire uh, safety uh, from a super Everybody get off the stage! Okay! <laughs> this fire extinguisher was there for a reason. This could have been so much worse. I'm really sorry, Roy. To think I could have caused a much bigger accident. I had no idea we even had one of those. I know. Then everyone listen up. Fire extinguishers can be just as effective as a fire hose. Make sure to keep fire extinguishers in sight and within reach. Always keep them out of direct sunlight and humidity. Check your extinguisher often for broken parts or corrosion. Give it a good shake once a month so the chemicals don't harden. Right, right. thank right. you, Roy. Cindy, thumbs up on your dancing tonight. Oh, yeah. You were great up there, you know. Thank you, guys. It's weird that we worked so hard and now it's all over with. I don't know, Cindy. Why don't you turn around? Huh? We want more! We want more! We want more! What? We want more! <laughs> we A dangerous bike competition. Good job, Turbo. <laughs> well, Johnny, looks like I win. <sighs> I'm feeling a little tired, so I went easy on you, all right? But next time... What? You went easy on me, huh? Same time tomorrow, rematch. <laughs> Prepare for my victory. <laughs> <sighs> Why is Johnny so late? Peter! Huh? <laughs> uh, what's going on? Think you can beat me if you're on a bike? We'll see. <gasps> Unless you're huh? afraid to race me on this, that huh? is. Huh? Afraid to race you? I'll beat you on that and prove that I'm the best once and for all. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's race. Great. Then whoever gets to City Hall first <sighs> is the winner. You're on. One, what? two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> Line. Slow poke! <laughs> Call me slow poke? You'll be sorry. <sighs> oh, careful there, you kid! Sorry, mister! What are you doing, kid? <laughs> uh, hi there. Huh? There's Johnny. <gasps> Thanks. Uh, see you later. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm pretty sure this way's a shortcut. Should I go for it? Uh, uh, all right. Uh, 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 That's Peter. He might be in trouble. Ugh. Peter won't be bragging after today. There's no way he can outrun my bike. <laughs> Who's the slope up now? Huh? Oh, no way! <sighs> Out of the way! Oh, my goodness! 
madness. You two-wheeled menace! Coming through, mister! Uh, uh, you, uh, you darn kids! Uh, uh, let me by! <gasps> me too! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's dangerous! Yeah! Hey, you guys! I'm coming, Peter! Johnny! Faster, faster! Hey, what is this? <laughs> I win again! It's a kid! Watch out! is dangerous without protective mm -hmm. gear. Peter, Johnny, when you're riding vehicles, like a scooter or a bicycle, there are things to remember. If you ride a bike or scooter without wearing protective gear, you could seriously be injured. You must wear safety protective gear properly. Don't ride in construction sites, driveways, or crowded sidewalks. You should only ride in safe places, like private roads, plazas, and parks. And it's dangerous to do tricks or compete while you ride. Riding is great fun, but let's do it safely. Got it? Mm-hmm. We get it, Polly. Hey, hey you, you guys. guys! You speed mm. freaks made a mess of our construction mm. site. Oh, oh, come on, oh, run away! Come back here! Yeah. You, you kids! I'm sorry! Oh. Won't happen again! Appliance safety! Jin? Jin! Oh, she left this running with nobody here? Oh, I'm sweating. Oh, hi, Roy. Jin, you left this fan on and it could have overheated and caused a bad fire. It's all right. I barely left it on for that long. Ow, it's hot! Are you all right? It started to overheat. You have to turn it off. Okay, Roy. <laughs> Take that! Huh? All right. <laughs> Never saw that coming, did you? No water balloons allowed! <laughs> I got you all wet! <laughs> Stop right there! <laughs> oh, hi, Posty! <laughs> Hello, Cindy! <laughs> you waiting for this? <gasps> oh, it's here at last! <laughs> I knew you were waiting for this book, so I came right here. I hope you like it! <laughs> Goodbye, Posty! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Oh. Knock it off. Come on, take your shot. <laughs> you can't hide behind someone. <laughs> Please just stop. <sighs> Peter! <laughs> Peter, you just got my brand new book all wet. Uh, I, um, I'm really sorry about that. I know. We can take it and get it all dried huh? off. You do that? Yeah, uh -huh. of course we would. Uh-huh, <laughs> that's right. We'll make sure it's as good as new again. Uh -huh. Give it here. You better fix it. <laughs> oh. Johnny, how are we supposed to dry this book? Who knows? Um, maybe the washing machine? How? The spin cycle? Johnny, let me think. That's it. Let's do it. <laughs> was a fail. Maybe the toaster might work. It's so hot, it'll dry it up. You're right. Peter, you're the smartest kid I know. I am, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Doesn't that smell great? 
All I want in this world right now is toast. Mm. Oh, Peter! Oh, look! Oh, it's on fire! Oh, water! Uh, so what should we do? Cindy's gonna be here soon to pick it up! Uh, uh, I got it! Oh. <laughs> the warm air will dry up this book in no time! Yeah, why didn't I think of it first? <laughs> Johnny, is it done? I want to go home. I think we're almost there. Huh? What happened? Oh, all right. <laughs> huh? Come to Papa. Ah! Ah! No, wait! Peter, that's my ice cream cone! Wait, why can't oh. I have some? Huh? Is that smoke at Johnny's house? <laughs> hey kids, are you all right? Just stay right there! <laughs> 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 Is everybody okay? We're okay now, all thanks to you, Roy. Uh. You guys, you can't leave an appliance on and unattended. Small home appliances can overheat and catch on fire. So even if you're just leaving the room, make sure that they're off. Also, be sure not to leave flammable items near electric heaters or blankets. And last, only use appliances for their intended purpose. Okay, we get it now. Hold on. Huh? Whatever happened to my book? You better hope it wasn't damaged in the fire. <clears throat> Come on, Cindy. You can always trust me to take care of things. Oh, it's fixed. It's not wet. Here you go. Oh, what happened to it? Uh, well, a lot of things. <laughs> we'll have to tell you the story sometime. <laughs> uh, are you kidding? Uh, 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 we're sorry, <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> uh, don't play around in a parking lot. This is a list of everything we need to buy today. Oh, really? All that? All that. Brooms Mart's having a sale right now. We'd better hurry before they're sold out of everything we need. Can I get a video game? I want a new teddy bear. <laughs> you guys, I'm afraid those things aren't on the list. <laughs> okay, buckle up, you two. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hmm. all of these cars. Over there! Mom, look! Huh? huh? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, goodness! Are you all right? <sighs> oh, my. We're too late. Hmm. Mom, look! Huh? There's one! Where is it? Ah! Oh, there's already a car there. Well, Mom, looks like this isn't going uh, to work. I'm not giving up. Huh? A, a parking, parking spot. spot! Hooray! Okay. <laughs> Helly, so how's traffic in town? Actually, Broomsmart is having a sale, and all the roads around it are jammed up. Oh, no! I forgot all about the sale! Ooh. I was going to get a new bathing suit, but what if they're all sold out? <laughs> <laughs> Jin, don't you think we should worry about the traffic problem first? Mm -hmm. Helly, <laughs> let's move out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now just wait for me to get the door. Mm. Uh -huh. Huh? Watch out! Ow! <laughs> You should be more careful, Mom. I told yeah. you to wait! Are you okay, Mommy? Yes, I'm okay. Stop. Uh -huh. Okay, 
Please go now. Whew. I think it's under control now. Helly, how does it look over there? Well, I've still got a lot of cars headed to the store. Really? Okay, I'm coming to help. Okay. So late, I'm so late! Huh? What's going on? Hey! That car is not driving safely! That car. Oh, yeah! Full speed ahead! Awesome! Uh, ah! oh, there's nowhere to park! Uh, 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 huh? Kevin! Oh! Oh, watch out! Uh, no, stop! Parking lots are dangerous places. You should always watch your children in them. Oh, it happened so fast. As for you, ma'am, you cannot drive that fast when you're in a parking lot. I'm just so sorry. I was afraid I'd miss the sale. Kevin, Susie, you both need to listen to me carefully and be cautious from now on. Right. You should not run or play in a parking lot, because you never know when or where a car may pop out. It's very dangerous. And it's easy to stumble over a speed bump or parking block. So you should always walk slowly and look where you're going. Also, remember before you get out of a car to make sure the car has completely stopped and make sure no cars around you are moving. When you are in a parking garage, it is very dark and hard to see. So always be sure to walk with an adult. And also, Kevin, you have got to know, it's extremely dangerous to ride a bicycle or shopping cart in a parking lot. Uh -huh. Understand? Yes, I do, Polly. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mom, are we ever going to get home? Almost done. Okay, maybe if I put this over here. Microwave safety. Why the long face? What's going on? Well, Dad, I feel really bad for my friend. There's this girl that he really likes a lot. But he's pretty sure that she doesn't like him at all. Hmm. This is about your friend? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> Johnny, just so you know, girls like boys who are sweet, just like this ice cream. Oh, mm, delicious. <sighs> Hold on, Jin. Huh? Oh, hi, Roy. What is it? Jin? You can't put foil in the microwave. It'll catch on fire. Oh, how did I forget? I use the microwave all the time, so I guess I better be more careful. Jin, are you finished with that? Huh? Hallie, stop! Huh? How come? <clears throat> if you put that foil in the microwave, it could catch on fire. It could? Hallie, everybody knows that. <laughs> hey, did you pass the quiz? Yeah, I think I did, but I guess we'll find out. <sighs> all I keep thinking about is an ice cream sundae. Huh? Johnny, I love ice cream. It's good, right? I make great sundaes. Awesome. Cindy, come with me. I'll make you an epic sundae. Would you rather have chocolate or strawberry? Well, um... Chocolate. Huh? Me too. What? I never said you guys could come. You just said you were making sundaes. Yeah, but not for you. Come on, you guys. It's annoying when you always argue. And I like strawberry. Oh, <laughs> great choice. Come on, Sunday's for everyone. All right. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Dad. Oh, hi, kids. Ta-da. Wow. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> Stop it. Those are for the Sundays. Huh. Charles and I are going to go play games then. Call us when they're done. Come on, Charles. Wait up. Huh. I'll never get why you can't just get along. 
Huh? Johnny? Huh? What are you making with that? Uh, whipped cream. To make a good sundae, you need homemade whipped cream. Ah! Uh, are you all right? Would it be better if I held on like this? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Dream? Huh? Uh, uh, Johnny? Uh, there was a fly. <laughs> Johnny, can Charles and I have a snack? You can see if there's anything you want in the fridge. Ah, pizza time! Do you think we should heat it up? Yeah, and I'll get us some plates. Huh. Wow, wow, that, that was looks great! Oh, it belongs in a magazine! <laughs> What's so funny? You got a little something right there. Huh? Right here? <laughs> no, I'll get it for you. Fire! Dad! Dad! Get out of the house right now! Come on! <laughs> Our Sunday! Come on, Johnny! Our Sunday! Johnny's house! Huh? 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 Roy! Everyone stay put. I'll handle it. Huh? 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 Okay, all safe. Thank you, Roy. You guys, I think we need to talk a little about microwave safety. The first rule... Never ever put any kind of metal into the microwave. Huh? The microwaves can cause fire when they bounce off the metal. Next, ah. you need to puncture or cut slits in your food before microwaving it. If the built up steam can't escape, the food can literally explode. <laughs> and last, loosen the lids on sealed containers to keep them from bursting as well. Simple, right? Yes, we can do all that. Mm hmm. Aww. Our poor Sunday. Cindy and I worked so hard on it. Yeah, but we had a lot of fun, right? We'll just make it again. Uh, can we? Uh, you're right. That would be really great. All right. Just don't forget, I like chocolate the best. Peter, huh? you're never coming over to my house again. Oh, I see. Only the pretty <laughs> girl gets the ice cream. <laughs> How to Ride Safely. <laughs> wow! Are those jet speed inline skates? <gasps> awesome! Doug, are they yours? Yeah, of course they're mine. And with these bad boys, I'll skate across the universe! Whoa, awesome! awesome. <laughs> You're kidding me! You're going to fight a space uh, monster in your skates? Why? Just because you're jealous. What? Of those things? My scooter could leave those skates in the dust anytime. Oh, yeah? No, it can't. Oh, you better believe it can. Fine. At 4 o'clock, we're racing. I'll see you then at the park. Huh. Kevin, <sighs> Doug, are you at it again? Jenny, Jenny uh, you, you should, should judge, judge our, our race. race. <sighs> What's wrong with you guys? That's Nothing wrong yeah. with me. And so, we should take all of the square corners and make them rounded like these. And that way, it'll be easier to go in and out. In addition to just doing that, this should also cut down on blind mm -hmm. spots. You're absolutely right. Okay, then. Let's all get out there and get to work. Okay. Mom! Mom! Have you seen my scooter? Oh, I can't find it anywhere. Don't you remember? You threw huh? it away because it got broken. Oh, that's right. Think, think. Huh? 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 I, oh, uh, eh. oh man, can I really beat Doug with his dumb little scooter? Huh? I won't fall. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to use a stick, and you think you can outrace me? <laughs> yeah. 
You're really going to race on that baby scooter? Well, I'm faster than you uh, no matter what I'm uh, riding on. Fine. Then let's start the race now. Fine with me. Okay. okay. Ready, set, go! Huh. <sighs> this alley really is too narrow. This alley is too narrow also. Yeah! Huh? What? Slow down! You're in danger! Kevin! Doug! Slow down! Huh? Holy! Oh! 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 Holy, help us! <laughs> 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 Are you two all right? <sighs> I'm okay. Kevin, Doug, you know it's very dangerous to go that fast in the street. I just wanted to prove that my scooter is faster. No way! My skates are faster! It doesn't matter. What's way more important than going faster is going safer. On a side street like this, you'll find cars, cyclists, and pedestrians. When you go really fast on your skates or scooter, you won't be able to avoid people or cars, and you can get into accidents easily. Also, when you go downhill, you won't be able to slow down and can get into huge accidents. You're not kidding. I couldn't slow down at all. That's right. From now on, remember, only ride in safe places like your school's playground or the park. Don't ever ride on side streets or in parking lots. And when you ride with friends, don't race each other and be careful not to run into each other. You should know that the real way to be a winner is to always be safe. Okay? Yes, Polly. We'll remember. Huh. <laughs> Ready? And go! Huh? What are you doing? Polly told us. The real way to win uh, is to always be the safest one. What? <laughs> I'm safer than you. No, I'm going safer. <laughs> <laughs>